Derek Menezes. Hi. Former national windsurfing champ of Goa. How many times? Seven times more than that? Oh, okay. a lot more than that. How many? Uh, closer to 15. Wow. Yeah. So, Derek, being unfair, in two minutes, windsurfing scene in Goa, how it changed, how it grew, where it is now? So, uh, Goa had an excellent tradition of windsurfing, developing champions, right from the times of Candido and Anil Madhgaonka being the first guy who passed away nationals and won. Late 70s? So this is right from the late 70s. 79 is when it all started. And also the 80s with people like Candido, Mark Burt, myself, Remy Fernandez, Matthew Gomes, a whole array of champions. Anyway, windsurfing has evolved, equipment has evolved, it's gone into foiling, more advanced stuff. Then what happened? Cost of equipment has gone up as well. And funding is required. One, it's got more competitive because the Army and Navy have gotten and they have endless funds, but unfortunately they don't have to go on passion and skill. But this is what we have. And um, That's a boast. Why, why you say go on passion and skill? Because they have put a lot of money into brand new equipment and stuff like that over the years. And I know that Remy and myself have been going without any kind of such fancy equipment, just with standard old stuff and some stuff which has been sponsored by GYA, people like Sesame and Asus and all. Goa Yachting Association. And we have been winning. We have been winning wow. with that. But anyway, now it's gone even further. Army and Navy, especially Army, has put a lot of funds into windsurfing. We still have some very good talent in Goa. There's Dane, Dane um, Coelho. There's uh, Kiona Rajani. There's Dominic Fernandez's son, Avelino. Very, very talented youngsters. We need to back them. We need to... Um, be passionate about it. We need to, you know, encourage them to sail, get them the equipment, uh, tie them down into their training schedules and have a dedication to the sport. And, and Goa can still lead windsurfing and kite surfing in India. Windsurfing is like chess, no? It's under the radar, would you agree? It never gets the attention it deserves, perhaps? It has been getting pretty good, and uh, I would say, pretty good publicity. The thing is about any of these sailing sports because they are out on the water, they are not like football or okay. hockey, they are not spectator sports like cricket and all. So that's where the catch is for most yachting events. Tell us about April 2022, what's happening? April 20, uh, yeah, April 22, uh, uh, I have taken over as secretary of the Kite Boarding Association of India. Kite surfing is now the wonder new sport. How is it different? It, it, it is a kite like a parachute which is up in the sky with tremendous power and uh, the competitor, it's in the new Olympics, it's an Olympic sport. You can jump, you can turn and twist in the air, it's versatile, it combines what you had on the water as well as with an aerial type of sport, it's amazing. We're doing the first national championships in Goa this year, between the 15th and the 19th of April at Mandarem Beach. And there'll be competitors coming from all around India. And I'm hoping this will showcase this new sport and once again Goa will have the champions. Thank you and all the very best to Thank you. Thank you very much.